No, I think you're concerned that he's going to win, which is why you're bringing up 2016 things, because you have nothing to bring up. That's what I think you're concerned. And you should be concerned. He's leading in the polls. Okay. I'm a journalist. I am not concerned about anything. Welcome to Nurk News. I'm Nurkish. And that was Alina Haba calling out Dana Bash live on CNN for her media bias about the E. Jean Carroll case. And as you can see, Dana isn't taking it too well. She looks like a deer caught in the headlights, and the whole thing only gets worse from there. This clip has been making the rounds on social media, and today we're going to take a few minutes to break it down and discuss what it highlights about Trump's indictments moving forward. Is it your position that all of the witnesses in this trial mm -hmm. who testified on behalf of Eugene Carroll, those who were uh, contemporaneous, those who said that she told uh, her friends about it real time, uh, and others who said that they also have had experiences with Donald Trump assaulting them, is it your belief that they're all not telling the truth, they're all lying? We are here to deal with the case against Miss mm -hmm. Carroll, and you're talking to me as if he was convicted of rape, which he wasn't. He was actually cleared of it. So, me, no, I, don't, I don't really have I'm an not opinion talking. on it, and that's not what I was... Okay, I, I'm not talking to you about as if he was... He wasn't convicted of anything. This was a civil trial, and um, this was uh, specifically about uh, sexual assault today and defamation. Before I let you that's go... That's right, it was money. My, Notice what she did there. She basically said, so you're calling all of these poor women liars? And then when Alina Haba says, this sounds an awful lot like you're implying Trump is guilty of every heinous accusation women have made about him, Bash gets all flummoxed and sits there with her mouth open. You know, a lot of these journalists can't handle any sort of serious pushback. They don't like when you call them out on their BS. The same thing happened in that video I did where this lady talked to Christy Nome. But the jury also found him liable for... Uh, sexual assault and also uh, for defaming her. You have said that you are going to appeal this case. What specifically do you plan to appeal? I think you have to understand something. Only in the state of New York could you be found not guilty of rape, but then you defamed someone when you said you didn't rape them. That in itself just doesn't make sense, right? So we have a law that was put in place that has a one year opening for anybody and everybody and probably aging Harris specifically to bring a claim against Donald Trump. So we're going to appeal a lot of things, the constitutionality, the um, jury that that failed to find a rape verdict, but then somehow said he said he was defaming her when he said he didn't do it. And she's not my type. All of a sudden, that is a crime in this country. That is sick. That's an excellent point Haba just made about those claims. Uh, you know, CNN and establishment media will try to act like the way E. Jean Carroll was able to go after Trump on that second case was because of a law Cuomo signed in 2019 extending the statute of limitations on these cases to 20 years. But what it actually was was the Adult Survivors Act, that Hochul sign, that provided people with a one-year window to sue regardless of when the abuse occurred. And if you say the timing of that is a little suspicious or odd, they'll argue that you're against Cuomo's law or say that you don't think women should have time to report these things. But if it's so important to them, why only give these women one year? Why not try to make it permanent? My, my final question to you is, I mentioned that there are 15 women altogether who have alleged that Trump uh, sexually harassed or assaulted them. Are you concerned that more Are we talking of this... about 2016? Hold on, hold on. Are you concerned that... I have that... not gotten all a told, complaint from all 15 told. women. All told. That, not that you've gotten complaints. That have, come pub that have become public. Are you concerned that this Since case 20, that we've seen today... Since 20... Are you talking today, about 2016? Is that the desperation concerned? that we're at right are now? You are you concerned that the case that we saw today, that it is maybe just the beginning, that other criminal action could <laughs> be in the future? No. I'm great. I'm talking are you about talking about 20, are, Give me a year. These 15 women. Are we talking about 2016 when he was running and almost won and then did win? It is. It, it is not relevant. What what you're talking about? It is about relevant. The dates. No, you it's just not. Asked me about 15 women. I don't have yes. 15 women that have come forth with a claim. Okay. Where are they? I don't have them. Now, I want to mention how they talked about the initial case E. Jean Carroll brought against Trump, where he didn't show up and was fined five million dollars because the verdict in that was used to pave the way for other guilty verdicts moving forward. I mean, look at the most recent case and how they talked about it. Look how Dana Bash was framing the whole conversation. Look at how liberals and media figures like Jessica Tarloff and Rachel Maddow referenced the case. They all treat these verdicts like he was found guilty in a criminal lawsuit. It's an intentional distortion of reality and perversion of the justice system. But thankfully, we have a lot of people pushing back on it and calling them on their BS.
But let me know what you think. Was Haba being a bully? Do you think Dana Bash was being an impartial journalist during the interview? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nurk News. Thanks for watching. Bye!